Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ajay Kumar. I am the Deputy Director of Center for Operational Research in International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease. In this session, I am going to show how to export the data that is entered in the software API data to other formats like Excel, text format or a DBase format or other analysis formats like Stata, SPSS or SAS. So, you know, as you look in this particular overview diagram, we are in the last step, which is analyze data in Epidata or export data to other formats. So in the work process toolbar, the last option, which is number six, is where you access how to export data. And you can look that you can export it into different formats. So let's go straight away into Epidata and do some exports. Let's say we want to export to Excel. So I go to number six, click on export data to Excel, choose the rec file. And then you get a dialog box like this. It is telling me that an Excel S file will be created in this particular course folder. I need all records or if you want certain records, you can choose. I'm going to say I need all records. And if you want to skip any field, you can select accordingly. And I'll leave the rest as they are and simply say, OK. It tells me that there is already uh, this data file has been exported to an Excel file and 14 records have been exported. Now let's go back and check if this has happened. So let me open my C drive the data course and you can see here AX05 XLS already here. You can double click on that and now I see that the data is already here. Is this clear? How to export the data to Excel? Straightforward. But if you notice all the data, what you have got is values as it should be. So sex one and two, and you have not got male and female. Of course, Excel cannot hold both values and value labels together because as I told you, it was not designed as a data entry software. So either you can, it can hold values or it can hold value labels. Now we know how to uh, export values. Let's see how to export in case we need value labels. How do you export value labels? So let me go back to the software and go to document and say view data. Okay, view data. Choose the rec file. Now this allows us to view it like a spreadsheet. Okay, now if you see here, now all these are labels. Now you can go to edit and there is an option to see either values or labels. And once you choose show labels, then select all, which is control A and then copy go to an Excel sheet and simply paste. Now you have got male and female instead of one or two. Now then this way you can export the data from the rec file to Excel and get the value labels. Is that clear? Now let's look at some of the other options. Now let me close this go to export and then say, let's say we want to export the data to Stata. I'm going to click on Stata, choose the rec file, says you will get a DTA file, which is what we need. I'm going to simply say, okay. And it says a DTA file has already been created. So let's go back to the folder and see if that's the case. Can you notice? Yes, here is the DTA file. Now I can double click on this open. So it opens in the Stata. All the variables are there. If 
you want to check go to variables manager let's check one of them sex manage labels and you can see the export is perfect with values as well as all the value labels can you see this yes okay let me close go back so we've done export to excel and export to stata next let next let's look at exporting data to spss so i'm going to click on spss here choose the rec file open and if i say okay it says data file exported to dot sps so let's go back and check what has happened now there are two files which have come one is dot sps file other one is dot txt file now this dot txt file is the one which actually contains the data whereas dot sps file is a syntax file so what you have got is not a data file in spss you have got a syntax file and the data in text so you have to do one more step and that is you have to open the syntax file in spss and they follow the instruction there okay let me try and show you uh, i have some screenshots so that i can show you. So the moment you say export to SPSS, got exported. You've got two files here, .sps and .txt. So from SPSS, open this syntax file. This is a syntax file. And when you choose that and open, the syntax file opens like this. And it clearly mentions Epidata created two files by exporting the rec file. One is the SPS file, which is the syntax file or the command file. And the TXT file is an ASCII text file containing the raw data. You may modify the commands before running it, but uncomment the last command if the command file should save the data as a data file. So it's clearly telling. So go to the end and there is a command called save out file. So uncomment, that means remove the asterisk in in the beginning and once you remove that and say run all you will get the full data file and with again the export is perfect with values as well as value labels but there are two steps okay in the first step you get an SPS file and the text file in the second step you will get uh, uh, you have to run the syntax and then you can get the data file in SPSS. Similarly, export to SAS is also two-step process. You will get a SAS file and as well as a text file. So you have to open .sas file and run the uh, syntax to get the data file. Okay. Now this concludes the uh, uh, session on exporting data from Epidata rec file to other formats. Thank you.